Leo, while I shuffle the cards, of course, you have to subscribe to my channel if you haven't in the past. Of course, only if we want, if you want to and feel like. But anyways, I would um, greatly appreciate it. And if not, what else? That's about it. That's probably about it. So let's see what's coming your way. And we already don't like it. We do have the Seven of Swords. Seek the truth. That is something that is hidden from you. And we do have the hangman, some observation in order to find out the truth. You might be questioning um, yourself about a hidden situation of some sort. And it has something to do with love. Seven of Swords, Ace of Cups, Love Abundance, but it is hidden. This is by excellence the combination of cards of a forbidden love. That's a Seven of Swords and the Ace of Cups. Something that has to happen in the shadows. And we do have the Eight of Swords, helpless and hopeless. We might feel helpless and hopeless about it. That is not much we can do, or maybe you feel pessimistic about it. That is no hope. Seven of Swords, Five of Swords, win or lose. What's going on, Leo? Maybe we have to fight for this person or they have to fight for us. I don't know. What do you think? And the Eight of Pentacles, dedicated effort. For some of you, this is about the forbidden love in the work workplace. Eight of Pentacles is actually the energy of um, school, the energy of um, you know of a job, a business place of some sort. Maybe you whatever make money with this person. I love this, Leo. Overall energy, it's yourself. So we know this is your reading, absolutely. And this is you staying strong. And no matter what, we absolutely have the clarity of belief. And we most certainly have the wisdom coming with it. That's um, the hermit energy. So this is um, kind of the clarity of a lesson of some sort because the hermit is actually a soul's, soul's journey with um, the outcome, a pretty tough, smart lesson that we um, we kind of are pretty, pretty clear about. We do have the Ace of Swords. That is the energy of knowledge. The Hermit is the energy of knowledge coming from within. The Ace of Swords is the energy of ideas and new beginnings and plan. Having a plan and having knowing exactly where you want to go. So all that to say that is clarity, absolutely. So Leo, past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see current energies. You, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. And let's have the possible outcome for the second week of May for some of you. And I say possible because you always have free will and you always have to use your better judgment. Five of Pentacles, we might feel alone at this uh, moment. That is an ending that we feel um, sad about. That is an ending with a rejection of some sort with the Five of Pentacles. Still lingering in your energy, right? We still have this um, sadness and feeling alone, kind of. So let's see Leo in the past, you and this person. We're going to start with you. We do have the Five of Cups and the Two of Swords. Um, one is the energy of missing somebody. Uh, five of Cups, regret, guilt, and absolutely having these um, emotions. Of course, it's um, mourning, um, you know, a loss. But I, um, it's kind of paired with the procrastination card, right? Refusing to see. That was something, um, Leo, that was uh, probably right under your nose and you were not seeing it. And, um, and yet you are very emotional, you know, or maybe that is something that you don't see even now, right? We ask for past energies, um, you know, um, and it's always in regards to whatever we need to do now, right? In the present moment, um, in regards to regarding something from the past and, um, two of sorts, a lot of contemplation, a lot of procrastination, refusing to see the truth. Um, and then highly emotional. I do believe this um, um, soulmate of yours or this person you are dealing with, they um, um, kind of made you quite emotional, right? About. And um, and probably you lost them. That's the Five of Cups, mourning the loss, mourning and yearning the loss of somebody. Now, the person you are dealing with, um, Leo, they are in the uh, Three of Pentacles energy. So in the past, actually, they wanted to build a future with you. And we also have the Eight of Pentacles. 
the energy of dedicated effort they were actually coming um you know in this connection with this energy of partnership and really practical you know being extremely practical about um i do love the energy of building for um for some of you this is the energy of actually probably having um had um some years of marriage here we do have you know this energy of everyday life and also being very serious about you know but at some point something happened again right under your nose and you were not aware of or if you were you kind of turned your face and you decided not to see and then you know and then we got single even if that was love between you and this person right we do have the six of cups kind of the universe reminding you oh yeah they were your soulmate they were dedicated to you but then something happened and we have the nine of pentacles you became single they became um single right it's the energy of separation it's the energy of um being um both of you being um independent independently good i would say but in a sense that you know um on you on your way and them on your way but that was love simply love we do have the six of cups soulmates and love but again you know, you are blindfolded right i don't know if um it was something that you were not seeing and that's what made you kind of regretful about this connection in some way and if you're wondering if they've um they were really serious about this commitment I'm, i mean you just have this confirmation here right um what are we right now we do have the five of cups and the temperance so again this energy of longing and missing right um that is this energy of regrets and guilt in some way for some of you and we do have the energy of balance so i um i love to see this because it's um you're working towards your um you know um true self um you know it's the energy of finding balance after probably a long time we have your emotional i mean twice the five of cups right it's a world of emotions i don't know if it's regrets and guilt um for some of you it might be for some of you it's like more of a guidance to change your focus and for some of you it's simply sagittarius all over your energy and we miss this person like crazy right that's a five of cups twice it's like um being emotional about this person um can be a leo like yourself actually you don't have many signs so far you only have um leo like yourself or sagittarius now the person you are dealing with um leo right now they are in the seven of cups energy um a little bit confused if they have to uh put effort in this connection we have the eight of pentacles right the energy of um i'm gonna make it work i'm gonna learn how to do it and i'm gonna put the effort but then it's paired with the seven of cups they might be at that phase kind of saying um and and it's interesting because for some of you it's quite you know they had the dedicated effort in the past and now they have the same dedicated effort and yet that is a kind of a layer of confusion um should i work on this or not you know for some of you might be your soulmate actually um leo i don't know if you got distracted you know that's the two of swords you got blindfolded at some point and then you were not paying attention to this connection with this person that was yours and they, they were dedicated to you for some of you we have them still dedicated to you but then that is an extra layer of confusion illusion daydreaming and um so practical so practical but i feel your your mind is distracted while this person is actually has twice the energy of dedicated effort but right now it's like okay i'm not sure i'm you know uh, leo wants me that for some of you this is the energy actually you know of them not knowing if you want them and um and if they are the one you know because in the past i mean they've made the effort and again you can swap the energies here because we do have somebody actually fully dedicated to this connection and we have somebody having regrets for whatever was done right that's a five of cups regrets guilt feeling responsible missing um missing you or or you miss this person while they were so dedicated to you that energy here now mutual energies between you and this person we do have the devil and the nine of wands 
So might be some something toxic keeping you away, might be, um, you know, somebody healing, might be you healing, Leo, might be them healing, might be a Capricorn somehow involved in some way. And we have all these blockages uh, happening. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior and the um, self-protection or blockages or distance in some way. And for some of you, you, are, you might not be coming from the same kind of energy, and that's quite evident. We get a little bit closer. Five of uh, Cups with the Seven of Cups is somehow an energy of emotions, overwhelming emotions, somehow a combination of I don't know what's going on. And um, it might be something, might be with the devil between the two of you, that is probably something right now that keeps you apart. That's energy, and Nine of Wands is really the energy of you know, this is my bubble, this is my, and, um, and we stay away from each other. Um, but they are so dedicated to you. The only again can be our energy, but I, I do love this, right? And we also love the confirmations and the repeat cards because we know it has somehow substance. And this person is kind of true to themselves. They've been dedicated in the past and right now, despite the confusion of what's going on so so i love the energy coming your way we do have the empress this is the um um the abundance and creativity and the nurturing kind of energy that you probably uh, long for and we do have the six of wands believe and succeed um for some of you it's the love you have for this person uh the way you want to care, care care for them and um the way you want to you know kind of um dig deep into this kind of energy with this person of yours um but boy right you you have twice the five of cups right change your focus change your focus so i'm just saying now the person you are dealing with um it's interesting you have believe in succeed they have success and growth but we do have them in the magician energy um, they want to change the current situation. They want to have success. Eight of Wands is the Cupid's arrows and the passionate messages. We have them charging towards you with the Eight of Wands. And we have them actually manifesting movement. Probably they cannot move right now. Nine of Wands, you can't move. They can't move. That is something preventing you from coming together in some way. I'm sure both of you, you know, that you want to, um, you know, you want to come um, together in some way that is clarity of belief and that is also a wisdom of some sort that came from past experiences and I say that because we do have the devil right in the middle of the reading so absolutely there was something toxic about and it might show up in the current energy but might have been from the past and for some of you might have been a form of temptation um, something came between you and this person and we had you regretful and we have them confused about um, if they have to put the effort in or not right and mutual energies we do have the four of cups and again this energy of eight of swords helpless and hopeless so i'm not seeing a lot of movement but boy i am seeing a lot of desire right the magician is all about i want to change things coming your way and on your side you go from Change our focus, regret, guilt, uh, mourning the loss of somebody to now I know what I want, right? It's this energy of you both know what you want, you know, for your success and for their success. Um, Virgo energy, by the way, we have Leo energy, we have Virgo energy, we have Sagittarius energy, Capricorn energy, and that's about it. That is a sense of, uh, with the Eight of Swords, you might see obstacles where actually that is no obstacle. That's the Eight of Swords energy, the mental prison. They might see obstacles where actually, and also this energy of missed opportunities between the two of you, but in the, independently, both of you, you wanna have success in this. And this clarity of belief again. For some of you, might be communication. Um, Ace of Swords is the energy of written communication. So somebody might communicate with you. You communicate with them in writing. And um, for some of you, you are guided to uh, communicate, to seek communication because we do have the seek and the communication card. For some of you, it's like seek clarity of belief. 
because somebody here is a little bit confused right now it's it looks like it's the person you are dealing with you know they have a little bit of a of a question period right <laughs> and some of you it's actually your soulmate being guided and i say soulmate because in the past that was this confirmation of simply love right the six of cups so somebody really needs to seek a little bit of clarity in the current situation um and the devil between the two of you can be that level of confusion too, right? And fear. Um, somebody might be actually fearful about this connection. Now, Leah, let's ask for some guidance. Let's see if we need to run away. Let's see. I'm, I'm going to use activation cards just like the last reading because we want to know um, what we need to activate in order for this connection either to work or to put an end to it, right? So we do have action. So you need to, it's not interesting. You have the courage to express the unique loving colors of your soul. So you need to come from a place of truth, Leo. Maybe that is something that we are not fully sharing in this connection with your person. We do have empathy. You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. We need to manifest empathy towards this person. They might need help, right? That's the empathy. It's towards people in in, um, in position of vulnerability. We do have detachment. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. Wow. So we need to leave behind some ideas or some ways in which we see things. You are releasing old patterns and ideas that no longer serve your highest ideals of love. We need to change something, right? A little bit of perspective on things. And we do have unity. You understand that the love shared with another is amplified and has a ripple effect across the universe. Yeah, we are all, it's like the law of attraction, but at the same time we are all united, right? I believe it's the Gaia principle. The basics of the Gaia philosophy and we have evolution you realize you realize that obstacles are merely lessons on the path of love and isn't it interesting we have empathy again I don't know who needs that empathy Leo but we need to come from a place of empathy and understanding and it says I am open to seeing both sides of a situation Right? You feel and understand the emotions of another in the service of love. And now we have, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. Okay? And whatever obstacles you had in the past, actually, it's a lesson on your path to love. Okay. Well, you have empathy twice. Are you harsh with them, Leo? What's going on? So let's have a couple of um, guardian angels. And one is nine of wands. Isn't it interesting? You have it right at the core of your reading. And it is about rest and reconsider. And now it comes back in terms of um, guidance. So maybe that is something toxic about the situation that we need to reevaluate. Maybe that is a fear that we need to look twice to into it. And now I have the nine of wands. Um, so it says you've worked hard to create the things you cherish in your life, such as beloved relationships, amazing accomplishments, and hearth and home. Rest assured that all these treasures and you are being constantly protected by your angels. In return, Mother Earth, the animals, and the environment need your protection. And we do have bottom of the deck, King of Pentacles, Taurus Virgo, or Capricorn. And it says this is a time of great success for you. You are really guided towards work and, um, right? Anyways, so <laughs> this is a time of great success for you. All your plans are blessed and will move forward perfectly. Unexpected job opportunities arise in the near future. Make sure to accept them. This card indicates that someone with an amazing career is involved in this situation. This is a powerful person with a great integrity who enjoys hard work. This person could be you. So maybe you are guided to be practical this week in terms of this love in particular and also be smart about, right? And that is a message here that I love. Rest assured that all these treasures, whatever you've created, 
are being constantly protected by your angels. I love this. So Leo, if you if you need it in some way, some form of reassurance, guess what? You are protected, baby. Um, and I do love. I do love this energy of them wanting success with you and you wanting success with them. You have the Empress, they have the Magician, I mean, please. Right? Anyways, Leo, this is all that I have for you guys. You know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and strong. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.